All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you just see some interesting things when you're at the gym. So yesterday I went to the gym, do my normal treadmill run. I really run on the treadmill mostly during the week. Uh, weather's been pretty crappy here lately. So I do my walk outside to get my outdoor in. And then usually for my runs and tempo and all that kind of stuff, I do it on the treadmill inside for just when it's pretty crappy weather out or dark or anything like that. So you see some interesting characters at the gym and probably some of the time I'm one of those characters. Like I'll go and like this last Saturday ran on the treadmill for two, little over two hours and I've got my camelback, I've got my snacks, all that kind of stuff for running for that time period. And so I probably am the one that looks a little weird uh, when it comes to being at the gym, right? I'm one of those people. Then you have a woman that was a dancer of some sorts, super flexible, like doing back bends and all this kind of crazy stuff on the treadmill, like doing these big hip openers and hip rotations and just things that boggle my mind because of how inflexible I am. Like I can barely touch my toes, more like a tin man than anything else. So you see all sorts and kinds at the gym. And the reason that I wanted to bring this up is really at the end of my run yesterday, I saw uh, there was a guy that came on the treadmill, uh, like two treadmills down for me, maybe like halfway into my run and big dude, like had to be 300 pounds at least, maybe 350, just a big guy. And got on the treadmill, did his, you know, walk for whatever, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. And at the end, you know, after I uh, wiped down my treadmill, because I sweat like a pig. I mean, I'm just drenched uh, in sweat by the time I finish running. And go over to this guy and was just like, hey, man, like, good job showing up today. Like, good for you to be here, to put in the effort and show up at the gym. So many people, I think, have, with a guy like that, it's going to be one of maybe three reactions. One, and most of this is going to be like negative stuff, right? One, you're going to say something negative to that guy or think negative thoughts, put him a, a weird look, things like that. Two is you just maybe ignore it, right? Like pretty much everybody else in the gym, you just ignore them, do your thing, move on. And then there's a third piece of that. And that's basically what I did. Like, congratulations on being here, right? I know you're not going to run like I was running on the treadmill. Uh, like I told him, because he kind of asked, you know, that he's looking over and seeing me uh, just running on the, the treadmill is what I ended up telling him was like, look, man, I've been doing this for 12 years now. Like 2012 was my first marathon. So really 2011. So I'm at 13 years of running and doing this stuff now. It's taking me, obviously I've been in this a long time. I've run really long distances and doing ultra marathons and all that kind of stuff. Like, dude, you're not, <laughs> it takes a long time even for somebody else to, to get there. And he was like, man, I just, I would love to run. I've never been a good runner or any of that. I'm like, man, you'll get there. It, it takes time. Like, you know, your first quarter mile, your first half mile, like all that stuff takes time to build up to. And you do it. You just keep showing up here day after day, you know, make it a habit. And this was actually one of the cool things and, and probably the best thing that the guy could have said is, you know, right now we're just trying to get in the habit. He was there with his wife. Um, and that was like, dude, that was such the right mindset to think about all this stuff. Like you're, you're doing it for the right reasons. You know, obviously, you know, you need to lose weight. You're showing up to the gym. You're making it a habit. Like those are all the right moves. And I know for, I've never been that guy to where like I was afraid to go into the gym or afraid to do any of that. I've never been like that overweight. I've been, 
from where I am now, like probably my heaviest is like 215, 220. You know, my weight in high school was like 175 and I sit like somewhere around like 190, 195 right now. So could I lose weight? Yeah, absolutely. I think everybody could probably lose, you know, 10, 20 pounds at pretty much any given period of time. But I've never been the guy that's like afraid to go to the gym or afraid to take my shirt off or any of that. Like I don't have any of that reference point that this guy probably has. So I knew the only thing that I could say to him was like, just good job at being here, man. Like your effort is going to come and increase, like all that other stuff. And like, I'm pretty humble about the races I've run and things that I've done because it doesn't serve anybody in like pulling out the ultra marathon card or any of that stuff. Like it's just incomprehensible to most folks but what you can do is like encourage them to hey man good job in showing up good job in being here keep showing up keep being here keep at it keep doing the good work right like those are the things that really help people to stay on the path stay on their journey that guy's got a long way to go like just a long way to go and at the end of the day like he's a young guy let's say that he's got 50 years left so long as he stays on this path. Like, do you want to live a miserable 50 years or a miserable kind of 45, you know? Because it'll probably take five years to really uh, get to a good physical point. Like, it's going to take time. And just having those words of encouragement was pretty much the only thing I could do uh, for him. And I think a lot of people don't go out of their way to just say that, right? That five minute conversation and who knows, right? Whether it was good or bad, I felt like we left it at a good point, you know, kind of fist bump at the end, uh, introducing ourselves. So it's one of those things like, I, you know, I think it was the right thing, but only time's gonna tell whether doing those things and encouraging people um, is gonna have that effect. And, and ultimately it's on them, whether they're gonna, what they're gonna do with it, right? Whether they're going to, continue on their fitness journey or whether they're going to go somewhere else. So I think the biggest thing that we all can do is just, just be positive. You know, what people do with that is ultimately on them, but by encouraging folks, by giving them that just push to do more, to stay at it, it's a huge thing. So that's my kind of takeaway from the gym uh, is one, you're gonna see all kinds of folks Sometimes you're going to be that weirdo like I am running in a camelback. Other times, you know, hopefully you can be that uh, little bit of encouragement for other people at the gym and everything that they're doing. So hopefully this helps you guys and find those opportunities. Just be aware of them and uh, find those opportunities to be a, a bright light for others in, uh, in your world.